Hello everyone, in this video we are going to determine the difference between continuous and discrete. So discrete by definition involves a count of whole events, objects or persons and cannot be broken down into decimals. And so discrete can be counted. While continuous can take any value, meaning they can be broken down into decimals. So continuous can be measured. Now let's take some examples here. Let's take the number of students in class. This is an example of discrete. So we're going to write here discrete because uh, we can't have like 35.5 <laughs> number of students in class. What does that mean? What does the 0 0.5 mean? So they come in whole numbers. Now the next example that we have here, height of a building. This is an example of continuous. So I'm just gonna write here continuous because an example for this is like a building can have, um, let's say 20.5 feet tall building. So it can be in decimal form. So that's like, it doesn't have to be a whole number. So this is an example of continuous. Now at this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problems out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Number of Chromebooks that would be discrete. So they come in whole number. There's no like half a Chromebook. So this is discrete right here. And then next one right here, volume of water in a jar. This is continuous because it can be in um, decimals. It doesn't have to be in whole numbers. So an example for that is like um, 3.5 liters of water in a jar. So let's take 3.5. So it doesn't have to be whole number. Speed of a car is also continuous because... Um, it can be in decimals. An example for that is, let's say, um, 35.5 um, miles per hour. So that is uh, continuous right there because it has decimal on it. Now the next one right here, number of trees in the park is discrete because um, you can't have half a tree. So I don't know how that looks like, but um, it's the, that's discrete. Hours spent in studying is continuous because it can be um, in decimal. Like example, I, you studied like half an hour. So that would be one half hour. So pretty much like um, discrete is like whole number. Continuous can be expressed in decimal or it can be expressed in fraction as well. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. Now at this time, we are going to have those that are um, expressed in like a graph form. So in this, this is the next example that we have here. What, what happens if they are in graph form? So how do we know that it's continuous and how do we know that it's discrete? So I'll give you a hint. Continuous is something from the word continue. It means that the dots are connected to each other and that is continuous. Well, if we say discrete, the dots are not connected to each other. So that means in this example that so we have here, this graph that we have here is discrete because in this graph, we, uh, we have the dots not connected. So that's discrete. Well, the second graph here at the, um, the bottom. No others are going to say like, oh, but there are no dots that are connected there. So how do we know that it's continuous then? So please remember that for um, any graph, a line, it can be a curve. Remember that it's made up of infinite number of points that are connected together. So there's like infinite points in there that are joined together. So that means that if we get a just a plain graph, that is actually continuous because again, any graph is made up of um, numerous or infinite number of dots. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try these two problems out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So in this example right here, this is continuous because again, um, the dots are connected, uh, connected with a line. Again, another thing that we should remember uh, that a line is made up of infinite 
number of dots, so that's continuous. And this one right here is discrete since the dots are not connected. They are, though they're scattered around, but they're not connected to each other. So this is an example of a discrete graph. Did you get the same answers as this, continuous and discrete? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.